Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 4, Separate Ways. Let's continue, shall we? When we last left off, we did the first part of this mission. Um, and it's a long one. Have I said that yet? I'm going to say it again. Right, notice how we can't actually see anybody down here. Watch this. You'll see them slowly fade in. Boop, and then another. And you can abuse that. <laughs> you can just see them popping in and out of the distance. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that does happen in the OG game as well, so. Right, he has TNT. I don't like the fact that he has TNT. So, we're going to try do something about that. Not having a lot of success. Come on. Yeah, didn't work. Setting those off is actually a hell of a trick shot. Unless you have, uh, well, I don't know actually. I was going to say unless you have like godlike aiming, but the the way the aiming system works, the see how like shaky it is. It, yeah, <laughs> good luck. And we have an army of fools dropping down on us here. But you know that's why we save grenades. Just such the occasion. Now you can see, if you did miss that item, you can't get it anymore. You don't get the hook shot prompt. I don't know why. It's actually kind of a really unfair and dickish thing to do, but especially as you wouldn't like if you don't buy the map. I mean, even if you do buy the map, to be fair, it's a very difficult. very difficult treasure to get. Right, we'll take his potatoes. And this leads us back. Oh. Interesting. All of the stuff has disappeared. Now, luckily, some kind, generous individual has been restocking this area with stuff for us. Now, it's not everywhere. I'm not 100% sure where all of the locations for items are. And there's the doge. We shall leave him alone. Oh. Nope. Okay, it's just a few little pickups here and there. Um, but yeah, some thoughtful individual has left us some stuff, which is very kind. So it would be pretty rude of us if we just left it there for the roaches. So, that is exactly what we're not going to do. You can s uh oh ooh, 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 ooh. No. Calm down, love. Jesus. Cool your tits. I don't know what that means, but do it. Right, now you'll notice that all of the boxes and stuff that we've destroyed are still destroyed. I don't think there's much that has been repopulated here. Yeah, have you ever wondered what happened to Leon's jacket? That Granado is worth now wearing it, apparently. Uh, you know what? That was really stupid. I should have waited for them to group a little bit better than that, but it's not as if we're running out of grenades, is it? That was painful. Definitely could have handled that a little bit better. That could have gone worse too. I don't know how that could have gone worse, but it could have gone worse. Come on. There we go. Always get nervous when I'm killing these guys. When there's loot to be picked up. Hey, there's an egg. Is that a brown egg or is that a golden egg? Hey, golden egg. Nice. We'll sell that. I don't think anything else has spawned around here. I think it's literally just those guys. <laughs> and of course. Oh, 
Eh, you know what? Nah, we'll save our grenades. You never know. Hey, buddy. Oof. It's a shame to ruin that uh, wicked jacket of Leon's, but... You know. Murdering must be done. Now, we can actually search this guy. Looks like Leon's jacket. Why is he wearing it? Well, Leon discarded it, I believe. Okay, nothing there. We're all good. I think we're all good. We're all good. Pretty sure I've missed some yellow herbs, I think, maybe. Eh. Not that it matters, not really. I don't know that I've missed any. It just kind of feels like it. Because unfortunately it doesn't actually tell you where all of those guys, all of the herbs are. We need the treasure. As you can see, Leon was never really, well, Ada was never really that far away. Right, any treasure around here? I don't think so. Ah, there's a merchant coming up. That's nice. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. Severe consequences. What? This ain't blood. So he does catch her in the end. <laughs> You're in trouble now, boy. Yeah. Not quite how they ooh, were expecting it to go. Yeah, so they actually try to sacrifice our girl there, which is kind of cool. I like that. Actually gives you know, a bit of a reason to have that sacrificial altar there. Ah, uh, there's some treasure here too. The first cat's eye. Oh, you want some more? Yeah, well, what well, I think of you, sir. Get down. Oh, hello. That's what you call good luck. I would like to say that was pure skill, but, well, you know. 
Alright. Nice green herb. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and everyone else. Yeah, this is one of the things I hate about the knife. If you're on an angle, it doesn't work. And neither does the fan kick, apparently. But that's just standard for this game, unfortunately. Right, we could save it, but we're not going to. There's no point. We've got some more rifle ammo, which is delicious. Uh, now, we can't go through that door yet. We need to go and grab ourselves a key. A key, you say? Yes, a key. Let's go get that, shall we? We need to get a key to get a key. How Resident Evil like? I've always wondered about the last bagger, like how sentient these people are. Are they still themselves, but they're just controlled by the parasites? Because they seem to still be having conversations with each other and whatnot. Not really sure. Like, are you still sentient whilst it's happening? Because, yeah, they were having a good old time together, weren't they? Doing pretty well when it comes to ammo. Welcome. Welcome. For a selection of good things. What are you selling? Uh, I will sell golden egg. Is that all? <laughs> And I will sell those. Is that all? <laughs> and that. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. And that. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> nice. Thank you. Come back at any time. Uh, talking of that, actually, do you have any what are you buying? first aid sprays that I can purchase? You do. You have one. One's better than none. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. I guess these are the last supplies left over from Umbrella. Right, so we've got our key. So we can now go back downstairs. And open that pesky door. I thought there was a gem there then. I was going to say how dastardly. How deliciously devious. Door won't open. Must be locked. Need to find a key. Yeah, maybe the key that's in your pocket. Just saying. Right, anywho. I'm pretty sure there's some stuff outside. Don't play with me, game. I know there's some stuff down here. Another yellow herb, and then there's the cat's eye. So we have two of the three cat's eyes. I thought there was ammo and stuff out here. Well, I'm obviously wrong. But that's fine. Hello. Come get some. Yeah. This gun kind of trivializes her, to be honest. I mean, it's expensive. Yep, yeah, here we go. Are you going to pop? You are. Oh, we don't have any flash. Oh, well, okay. That's fine. Get rid of these guys. There we go. Yep, another boss. Well, I say boss. It's probably giving her too much credit, to be honest. Nice. You gotta love the TMP. Per shot, it's rather pathetic, but my god, man. When you're rattling off those rounds, oof. Really does some damage. Now, to be fair, you can actually really um, do enough damage to her with the standard handgun. The standard handgun isn't too bad. I was thinking when I was doing this um, about the prospects of doing this without buying any weapons and 
Apart from the final chapter, I actually think it would be really easy. There's a couple of little bits that would be tricky, but nothing major. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't think I'd forgotten about you guys, did you? That would have been rude of me now, wouldn't it? Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, sometimes if you get lucky, you can take them out. Other times they get a cheeky, s cheeky hit on you. But that illustrates how much more damage they do to Ada over Leon. And that illustrates how much better her gun is than Leon's. It's pretty fucking ridiculous. Oh, excuse me. You need to be careful because when they do that animation, although they're technically dead, they can still hurt you. Yeah, no, yeah. <clears throat> now, if you're thinking to yourself, gee, that's bullshit. Well, yes, you're right. It is. Hey, guys. Now, now. Uh, don't be like that. Be like that. Some more bullets. Did he drop anything? I don't think he did. He did not drop anything, because he's a little bastard. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to be one, didn't there? Always one. Got to get that last word in, haven't you? Come on. You ugly sack of goat shit. Okay, that'll do. Uh-huh, you did. Was that by yourself, or did you have help? Oh, great. Is he going to do damage to us, or are we going to kill him before he does? Nope, he's going to do damage to us. It's so hard to get those guys with the knife. Leon can do it pretty easily. Which makes me wonder if Leon's knife does more damage. Pretty sure it isn't. Or it doesn't, I should say. It just feels like that sometimes. Uh, now. I don't think there's any point, really. In... No point talking to the merchant just yet. Not really. Unless he's got another F8 spray, which I'm Welcome. pretty sure he doesn't. I think he only gets... What are you buying? Oh, no, he does. Okay. Cool. I thought he only got one per uh, episode, but nope. I'm very happy... Oh. Very happy to be wrong. Right, let's get this going. Now, unlike with Leon, this is just a quick ride to the top. We don't actually have to fight anything going up there, which is, yeah, it's quite nice. Save some ammo, I guess, if that's important. Which it kind of isn't on this mode. All right. Yeah, I do. I do prefer that in a way. It's just nice to get the hell out of there before taking like too much damage. Uh, I always have. I have fond memories of this area, just because I can't believe there was a time I thought this was the end of the game. Back on the good old GameCube. Actually, actually semi-tempted to buy another GameCube. Well, I don't need to buy another GameCube, but the laser on mine is defunct. 
Uh, that is my GameCube that I bought way back in the day. Um, I mean, emulation kind of is where it's at now. But I would like to get the old girl up and running again because there's so many happy memories with that system. And that system's customized. But all me, well, I think my X, X, X <laughs> put a load of um, cat stickers and stuff all over it, and it's just, yeah, fun time. Welcome. Welcome. What are you buying? Uh, I don't know. What are you selling? You could actually buy that, but I want the bag upgrade before. We don't need it yet, anyway, so there's that. I think there's a yellow herb behind here. Memory serves, which uh, I guess it does not. Who would have thunk it? Okay. So. Now, I don't know if you can actually go in the... In, let's try... Let's do a bit of experimentation here. We've got to save... Spot here anyway. Let's experiment. Feel like a little gamble, like... Right. I'm guessing we can't go through there. Nope, won't open. This must be where that little runt I've read about is holed up. Ah! Yes, the cast that Castellian. You are indeed correct, young Ada. Ah, no, we can't go through there. It's just curious, because all of the doors here are locked on the map. But there, of course, is only one way to go. But I guess without trying all of the doors... Well, actually, that's not true. Without trying all of the doors, it's pretty obvious the way to go. The way that's, you know, <laughs> got a extended part to the map. Also, GPU prices are coming down in price astronomically. Which has me quite excited. Because it means... Oh, yeah, hookshot to go back. Soon. Well, I say soon, probably not soon. But my poor, tired 1060 can be retired soon. Right, now, there's another item. I actually hook shot up here. A couple of places. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yes, my poor, tired 1060 can be replaced. But I've been talking to the missus. I don't think it's really worth going for a uh, 30 series card at this point. No. We're so close to the launch of the 40 series. Or the 4000 series. Might as well just wait for that. Okay. Because it's quite interesting. I've been watching GPU prices for a long time. And they are... Definitely coming down a lot. I mean, I think this year so far they've gone down by 43%. Which, considering they were, you know, unobtainable items. And they're still disgustingly overpriced. But we're, we're moving in the right direction. Because unless you have all the money in the world, paying, you know, like 800 to a thousand pounds for a graphics card is just in absolute insanity. Right. Nice. I mean, hey, if that's your bag and your PC's your pride and joy and you do that kind of thing, that's cool. But for mere mortals like myself, that's a bit out of the question. Right. Hello. You right there, buddy? Looks like you're about to have a bad time. Let's climb up. X is to cut. Every, right, I've noticed. That happened to me on the um, Switch as well. The first time we get the QTE with this guy, it didn't work. So, I'm not sure whether it's a bug. We don't have flash grenade. 
I'm not sure whether it's a bug or what, but yeah. C. Mash that C button. I don't know whether you can actually do it faster. Pretty much for me, it always takes three attempts. Yeah, my buddy. There you go. You're going to be C again? Yep. Almost there, Raider. Alright, let's go for his legs. Get him to fall down this side. God, this TMP is just monstrous. It's so much fun to use. Oh, X this time. I actually pushed the wrong button there. I pushed C, but notice how it didn't cancel the QTE. Yo, buddy. Come on. Let's be having ya. Let's put a fresh magazine in there. God, I love the TV. Um, now, what is that? That's a green. Certainly take the green. Look at all these red nades. Ooh, lovely. Lovely. Oh, yes. Look at all these bloody shotgun shells, too. That is equally lovely. Um, now, uh, uh, I don't think there's any point in going up there. I don't think we can go up there, to be honest. So whether I want to go up there or not is rather redundant. Uh, I think we grabbed everything from here. Pretty much everything anyway. There might be like, you know, a pack of bullets left somewhere, but who cares? Places to be, people to shoot, and all that. I forgot something. You guys go on ahead. Lewis. Hey, senorita. You got a light and some smokes to go with it to make my day? Where's the sample? Okay, we skipped the foreplay. As a matter of fact, I was just going to get it. Where's the love, baby? Sounds like fun to me. Just hurry up. Okay, lady. Where do you stand on all of this? Exactly what kind of group are you working for? There are some things in the world better off not knowing. This is one of them. Damn it, Ada. <laughs> Fine. I can take a hint. I don't care who you are. As long as you get rid of that old man and his religious friends. Indeed. End of chapter. Yeah, the cutscenes in this game look absolutely terrible. They could have um they could have made a little bit more effort with the HD update, but hey, to be fair, if you go back and play the original GameCube cutscenes, they look like ass too, because low resolution, but you know, it is what it is. Among all the people involved in this, Luis Serra has the least entanglements. He works for no organization, preferring to move on his own. I'm the one who told the organization of his importance. I did it because I like him. His history betrays an enthusiasm I once shared. It was a stroke of luck that I happened to intercept his email for help. It seems he can't trust the police, so he sent the email to an old friend from college. He must have thought his friend was still alive. At any rate, that's how I managed to find him. Apparently, he's been conducting his own investigation of the cult while doing research on Las Plagas. A brilliant scientist. He's accumulated a pile of data and pieced it all together. Must be why Sadler hired him. Hmm. Too bad Sarah's snooping has aroused his suspicion. Uh-oh. When I told him who I was, he practically begged to be taken into custody. He needed protection. He said, I have no love for Las Plagas or this stupid cult I want out. I just want peace and quiet again. I ordered him to bring me a Master Plaga specimen. A sample for evidence. 
Looks like he's one of the few people whom Sadler actually trusts. Tracking him down and getting my hands on the sample shouldn't be difficult. I doubt the cult will take kindly to his escape, though. I'll have to guide this along if I want it to go smoothly. Okay. And again, like last time, that's just a transcript of what happened. Just in case anyone wants to read it, and you can tell how good this port is, because it says X to exit. Uh, I don't actually have a controller connected. Well, it's not turned on to my PC, so quality stuff. And we will save. I actually really enjoy Simon Ada. It's such a like fun little side bonus anyway chapter three but that is going to have to wait until next time thank you very much for watching guys and as always till next time